Blue Collar Survival, take 59. Action. What is going on my blue collar knife nuts? This is Justin from Blue Collar Survival and it's time for another review. Before I get started, if you're new to my channel and you're looking for the best bang for your buck in knives and honest reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. Alright guys, so today I will be doing one of the two things that can survive a nuclear apocalypse. One of them is a Twinkie. The other one is a Roach. Quick review on the Twinkie. Chocolate Twinkies are delicious. So today I'll be doing the Kaiser Vanguard Roach, which Vanguard is Kaiser's budget line. They also have a high-end version of this, which has a titanium handle and an S35V uh, blade steel. And that one run you around $225. So you can come down on the uh, price if you want to check out this knife on the more budget end. You get VG10 steel and G10 handle scales. I'll go ahead and throw all the specs up here. And we will go ahead and get us a size comparison on this. So we'll start off. I got the steel wheel modus, which is a little smaller. Even smaller. Ontario Rat 2. The zero tolerance is 0462. And of course, my Ben Blue Bic lighter. So we will go ahead and I'm going to do the pros and cons because like I said, take 57 or 9 or whatever it is, I need to get this right. Pros of this, I love the ergonomics of the handle. I like the way it feels. Uh, blade shape is another pro for me. It's said that it is, they, they call it a drop point, but I actually would say that it's more of a spear point just because I believe a spear point is when you get a symmetrical or where it's equally on each side to a point. To me, that looks like a spear point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what it is. Another pro for sure, it is on bearings. So, extremely smooth flipper, easy to close. You can push button or light switch it, either one. No jimping on top, which, you know, this time I'm actually not gonna con it because just because of the ergonomics of the handle. Um, I think that's really, oh, the finger choil and just the, the feel in hand to me is a pro as well. Decent blade steel. If you're not familiar with VG10, VG10 is a stainless steel that originated in Japan. It's come over to America a little more. I know Spyderco uses it in some of their lines. Um, it's right just below, I would say, D2. It has less edge retention than D2, but has a way higher corrosion resistance and is easier to sharpen. VG10 VG has a decent edge retention. It stay, it, it's one of those blades or blade steels, kind of like a, a Scanvic blade steel. It just wants to be sharp. And uh, I mean, this is, I mean, two fingers, this is effortless. I can't even do it now. Eh, effortless. <laughs> there you go. I love it when you get a fail in the middle of the video, but I'm not starting over again, so that's going to have to work. So overall pros, I really, I, I, like the, I like that it's tip up also. Now we'll go to cons. This is a hanky I got from Mr. Patty's Potato Peelers. It does not carry all the way, way deep. It almost reminds me of a uh, spider coat tenacious, how it sticks that much out. That is a con for me. No lanyard hole. You guys know me. I love lanyards. So that is a con for me. For some of you, that may not be a big deal. Another con is one pocket position. That is it. Righty tip up. And that's all I really got for cons. It's got a nice retention. So, you know, it's a three and a half inch blade. It's got a three and a quarter inch or three and an eighth inch cutting because of the choil. And if you've got big hands, this is a great knife because you can either choke up on it 
and have plenty of room because I mean my medium sized hands look how much is back there or even if you have small hands too the way this fits in there like it's a little tight for me and also if you have the larger hands they have this back I guess finger choiled finger divot but so overall it carries really nice and that's why I didn't give a con for jimping because just the way this thing holds in hand even the G10 there's not much texture on it but just the the shape of the handle it's not going anywhere fit and finish is spot on on this knife and it's It'll run you right around $81. I will throw the link to Knife Center where you can get this at. And actually, Knife Centers, this one I believe is a stainless steel pocket clip. A little roach on it. And uh, the one on Knife Center actually has a titanium pocket clip. So it gives you that little bit of uh, ability to do some modifications with some flame anodizing. Something that you could almost get at the matchup on that beautiful G10 backspacer. Um, one more con to give is these are not very deep well and that always kind of bugs me because you know how that can get on trying to strip out those torques these are decent and the pivots actually really nice for deep well and it's got good bite in it they did a real nice job on not really uh, billboarding it up too much Roach and Matt Degan he also does several other Kaiser knives Kaiser is a great Chinese company. They've really stepped it up in the uh, the knife world. This, to me, you know, this is what... It, it rides right up there with... I'm not saying exactly like the zero tolerance, but getting into some of maybe zero tolerance is a little bit lower. But it is right up there, their quality and fit and finish and everything. I can't really find anything on this knife that isn't spot on for their fit and finish also forgot to mention that the uh, the blade is titanium coated which I'm not really familiar what titanium coated is for if it's just a scratch resistance or a rust resistance if you guys can please tell me in the comments down below what the tight I mean I could just look it up but why not just ask one of you guys interaction right so yeah so it's got that full almost full flat grind nice blade stock uh, Chuck over at Shortcut Reviews, also a link down below, also mentioned something about uh, reviewers not talking enough about pointiness of a knife. And he made a good point. We really don't. We don't talk about the pointiness of the knife. And here's a good example. So the steel wheel modus, though it looks like it has a good point, if you see it, it's thick all the way up on the blade stock. So it is not really a pointy knife. Whereas... Actually, yeah, this is actually a really pointy knife. So because how they did it, even though it is thick blade stock, they really come down on the grind, and it's such a fine grind on the blade as well, that a, that is a pointy knife. And with this being the spear point or drop point, and relatively thin, I would probably, on a scale of 1 to 10 for pointiness, I'd probably put it right around maybe a a seven so thanks Chuck I'm glad you said something about that because that is definitely something that we do not hit on for that very much you can also get this in orange and it's just orange black and then like I said the high end titanium with the s35e overall excellent knife if if you know you're kind of looking at it and wondering what the the width of it if you're into spider co's you'll be fine with this it carries like a spider co because of how wide it is. Uh, I had a gentleman say something to me about it saying how he didn't like it because it took up too much pocket space and he couldn't get to what he was trying to get to in his pocket. To me, that's not an issue because all I carry in my pocket, like let's say I'm carrying the roach, in my right pocket would be the roach and then would be my, uh, my Swiss Army knife, which this hooks to my belt loop and this to hold it vertically in my pants because I don't know if... How many of you carry a Swiss Army knife and it lays like that, but that's uncomfortable. So this keeps it vertical, plus I can use it without losing it. So that's all I have in my pocket, so I don't ever have to reach into my right pocket. It is dedicated to my knife. But, yeah, guys, overall, you know, it's it's a little heavier at right around 6.5 inches. Or 6.5 inches, 6.5 ounces. 
to me that doesn't really bother me like i said i just carry that and a swiss army knife and then i usually have several things on my belt so i'm usually evenly distributed yeah i could i guess you could say so weight you know what is a couple ounces here and there it's not really going to matter overall excellent knife great for the price really high-end quality it's just beautiful i mean this thing handing that to somebody they're gonna be like man check that out especially you know some of the guys that are a little more into the higher end you know i think they can appreciate the craftsmanship they you they do a lot of slow cncing on their uh on their parts and everything they don't do the uh, water jets it's a little more precise so kaiser's hitting it they're really stepping it up in the knife world and for a chinese company you know a lot of people dogging on them saying they they just rush through everything these guys are actually taking time and quality so kaiser you guys are doing a great uh, great job and tangram their budget line also very very amazing knives so i'm gonna go ahead and just shut this re review down because i am starting to like lose my mind all right, guys, this is Justin from Blue Collar Survival. You guys be safe.